Hi, this is Kel from EverlastingMobility.com. Today we're visiting Golden Technologies corporate headquarters. And in this video, we're gonna go over the buzz around carry on. It's model number GB120. This is one of the top selling folding mobility scooters in the industry right now. It does have a 300 pound weight capacity. You can get a standard uh, battery. You can also get an airline approved battery. The total weight of this scooter when it's fully assembled is around 65 pounds. Uh, however, if you remove the seat and the battery, the weight drops to just under 48 pounds. So it is a really light scooter. It folds down really compact. The armrests on the scooter are adjustable. So they do fold back so it's easy to get in or out of the scooter chair. On the back of the scooter, there are rear anti-tip wheels. So with these wheels, that's just a safety feature that's on most scooters. So if you're going up a steep incline, uh, it's just added safety to make sure that you do not tip backwards. This button is the free wheel lever. So if it is turned off, you cannot operate the scooter, but it will put it into a neutral position so you can push the scooter if you were to run out of battery. If you turn it on, it'll put it into the drive position. And when it's in the drive position, that's when you can operate the scooter. So once you let off the throttle, the electromagnetic brakes will engage when it's in this position. On the tiller, there is a front basket, which you can easily remove. And it's actually collapsible, so you can fold it into a pretty small size. Put it in your carry-on bag, for example, if you're traveling. And then you just unfold it uh, when it's time to put it back on. You can easily slide it right back on. There's also a cup holder that comes standard on the tiller. There is a front headlight that's on the scooter. So there are two lights that are on the front of the scooter. So if you're riding at nighttime, uh, it illuminates the path in front of you pretty well. And there's also a rear light on the back that lights up once you turn on the lighting system on the scooter. So you have a lot of visibility when you're riding this at nighttime. On the tiller, there is a USB charging port. So you can charge your phone or your tablet, or if you had a speaker, like a Bluetooth speaker, for example, you could plug it into this USB charging port and you could play some music while you're traveling. And the charging port for the scooter is on the tiller. It's right below all of the controls. You just slide the cover off and you can plug it in here. So you don't have to bend over to charge the, the scooter. Um, alternatively, with the newer models of the of the buzz around carry on when you remove the battery there is a charging port on the battery uh, so that's a new feature they have added and you can charge the battery inside your home as opposed to bringing the scooter in and then once it's fully charged you can take it off the charger bring it outside and put it back on your scooter so you're ready to go this yellow button is the horn and this other button on the other side uh, that is your lighting package so that's how you turn on the two front headlights and the rear tail light uh, when it's time to ride at, ride at nighttime. So the scooter does come with uh, two keys to operate the scooter. There is a battery gauge. So it's a pretty simple battery gauge. It has all of these bars are lit up and as the battery depletes, each bar will disappear. Uh, we do recommend if you want to have the longest battery life out of your battery for your scooter, uh, when it gets to around halfway uh, down on this charging gauge, you want to try to recharge your battery. When you do that, you'll get the best lifespan of your battery. Uh, this is the speed dial. So if you are going through crowds of people, you might want to turn it down to the turtle. And when you do that, your top speed is around one and a half, two miles per hour, uh, or say you're riding in a grocery store or something like that. But if you're in the open and you're trying to get to uh, your destination quickly, you can turn it up to the rabbit and that's when you'll get the maximum speed, which is a nice walking speed, probably around four, four, four or four and a half miles per hour. On the tiller, um, it is a standard tiller with two uh, grips on it. It is ambidextrous, so you can accelerate with just one hand and go in reverse with that same hand. So if you're more comfortable with just your left hand or your right hand, you can operate the scooter. If you're more comfortable with just operating it with one hand, you can move forward or reverse with just your right or your left hand. The tiller is also adjustable with this lever on the right side. So you can push the tiller away from you or towards you to get to a nice comfortable driving position. You just hold this lever down and when you let off of it, it will engage with this hydraulic system and will stay in one place once you let off of this lever. To disassemble this, this scooter, it's really easy. There is a handle that's underneath the front of the seat. You just lift it up and the seat will pop right off. 
Next, you would want to remove the battery that's on the floorboard. So there is a little button here on the floorboard that you would press and it releases the battery. Next, you wanna pull these two levers on the side and pull them outwards. And then you can release the seat post, which folds down flat on the floorboard. Next, you can either pop off the front basket or you could just fold it flat. If you don't wanna remove it, you can do that as well. But we would recommend to take it off so it doesn't get damaged. Then you would use the lever on the side to adjust the tiller and fold it all the way down flat. So once it's at this folded position, this was actually designed originally to be able to fit under the bed of a cruise ship. Uh, we learned that when we visited Golden Technologies. So it's the, when it's in this folded position, the height of this scooter will actually slide right underneath of your of your bed and your your cabin. So that's a pretty cool feature, a pretty cool fact that we learned. Another great feature with the scooter is it has a front handle so you can pick it up and you can transport it or kind of pull it behind you if you wanted to also it was designed this way so if you were to put the scooter in the back of your vehicle you can lift the front wheels up and place them into the trunk of your vehicle and then go to the back side of it and you can lift the back of it so you can lift the entire scooter into the trunk of your vehicle without lifting it all together in one piece so the, the weight distribution makes it a lot easier when you're trying to put it into the trunk of your car. This is a really well thought out design from Golden Technologies. And to reassemble the scooter, it's equally as fast. First step you would do is you want to press the lever to put the tiller up into an upright position that is comfortable for you. Next, you would want to lift up the seat frame that the actual seat goes on. So you just move that up and it'll click into place. And once you hear the click, you know that it's secured. Easily put the battery back in. Just make sure the metal prongs are, are lined up on the correct side and that will pop into place. When you hear the click, you know you have the battery secured properly. And lastly, you would put the seat post into the hole of the seat frame and that will snap into place as well. Fold the armrest down and you're ready to go. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a easy to fold mobility scooter, uh, there is an option for an airline approved battery, so you can take it on the airline as well. Um, it's just, it's a lightweight scooter. It's really awesome. We love this scooter. We love working with Golden Technologies. They're one of, the, one of the best brands in the mobility industry. They also have one of the best warranties in the industry, which does include one year of in-home service, as long as it's a warranty approved uh, situation where the warranty department will approve of it. They will dispatch a technician to your home and they will diagnose and resolve that issue for you. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-498-2560 or visit us at everlastingmobility.com.